bed. Hey cuties! So today I'm gonna show you guys how to slay Christmas with makeup. Let's get it. Step one, moisturize your face. <laughs> Step one, talk properly. <laughs> moisturize. Step two, a good primer. I am using the Kat Von D one because it's a good primer and it's very moisturizing. Step one and two combined. <laughs> A lot of people don't like my makeup tutorials, probably because I'm not that good at it, but there's people out there who ask me to do them. So if you like them, then here you go. If you don't, I don't know what to say. There's a, there'll be a video tomorrow. But if you would subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And you could follow me on Snapchat and my Instagram right here if, if you want. I mean, no pressure. Uh, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix fluid foundation. It's my favorite like everyday one. Full coverage. So if you want to cake it up this Christmas, I would suggest this foundation. I mean, there's other ones too. You don't have to use what I use, but I like my <clears throat> And I'm using a beauty blender to evenly disperse. Just pat it into the skin and I only wet my beauty blender a little bit because I don't want my foundation to be watery. And I have a zit under my eye. <laughs> but you can't really see it now because I'm covering it up. <laughs> Get in there. Don't forget the little creases in your nose. I usually do forget. That's why I'm reminding you. Okay, just because I really want Santa to come down my chimney, I'm gonna do like a slight second coat. Like just slightly. Even if you're a natural looking queen, Santa will still come down your chimney. Makeup doesn't make us worthy or not, guys. But it makes me happy. Oh, the shade I'm in is NW13. Oh my God, I'm actually so pale. I need a spray tan. Hi, I was wondering if I could make a spray tan appointment for tomorrow. Conceal all the eggnog you drank. Personally, I don't like eggnog, so I just take my rum and eggnog with no eggnog, and I'll just take the rum. Therefore, we have to conceal that. So thank you, Mac Pro Longwear Concealer. I thought Halloween was over. I look like a ghost. <laughs> I'm again using my beauty blender to tap in the concealer. It's a very nice blendable concealer. Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation to set everything in place and just make everything feel nice and smooth. I'm using the Laura Mercier Under Eye Setting Powder. And a little here because I have such bad creases from smiling all day. So I just gotta be stone faced. Now it won't crease. So now I got my face set. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and there was like a slight little problem. Yesterday at Sephora, I went in there and I'm like, I need my brow whiz. I love this, the Anastasia brow whiz. I need my medium brown. Went in, they didn't have it. They were sold out of that. They were sold out of soft brown. They were sold out of almost all the colors. Like there was only four colors available. <laughs> ah! So I went with chocolate. Let's just give it a whirl. Uh, don't be alarmed. Yes, my eyebrows actually look like this. Honestly, just slay your brows however you do. Pretty good color, actually. So I just create a regular looking brow shape like this from that because what is that? That looks like a sperm. Honestly, I feel like this color matches my brows and I should always be using chocolate. So that's the thing. What did we learn from this? Chocolate's always there for you and just try new things. From advice from you guys, a lot of you say this looks good and don't do anything else with it. I've heard that a lot because I go ahead and make like a straight line here and here and then blend it out super much here super much <laughs> i'm seven so i'm gonna take your advice right now you better not be playing and i'm gonna softly blend this instead of creating a line oh my god this is out of my comfort zone because i do my brows like the same every day does that look good i think it looks good please let me know what you think okay how do we feel about the slight change are they even what if we're out gelling them brows are cousins not twins. Now let's get these eyes done. I'm going in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Blending it out with my fingers just a little bit to soften it up so that it doesn't create like a harsh line or anything where I applied it. Sometimes I've had that when I apply my shadows after it like doesn't blend because I didn't blend that. So I did a look a long time ago, this one right here, and people were requesting that I do a tutorial on it. And I was like, yeah, I will. And then no, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of go off of that so that it kind of kills two birds with one stone. Stevie Stone. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Magic Palette, the big one. I know they have two different sizes. I just put my nail in one of these. Look at that. Oh. I'm going to use Boozo, this green shade right here. But first I'm going to take Nana and I'm just going to define the crease a little bit. These eyeshadows are amazing, like it's already blended. <laughs> These are wonderful. And fantastic day. My day started off really bad because I thought UPS lost my package. So I was on the phone with them and it's Christmas time. So the wait time for the phone was like an hour. Yes, your girl just jumped right into Boozo and didn't even tell you. There's Boozo. Apparently my tracking number changed. 
Has anyone heard of that before? <laughs> Had the tracking number. It was all good. Gave them the tracking number. They put it in. They were like, oh, yeah, I see it here. But when it got to Canada, your tracking number changed. I was like, what? I've ordered stuff from all over the world. For my whole life, I've been ordering stuff. And that has never happened. I've lived in Canada also my whole life. I don't know what that is. But anyway, that's why my package, it like stopped shipping. <laughs> I was tracking it every day with all full of love and joy and happiness. And then one day just like stopped. So I gave it a little while. In a while, I mean like a week and a half of it just not going anywhere. And I'm like, oh my God, it's lost. My tracking number changed. So it actually was shipping that entire time. But my tracking number, I don't understand. Anyway, so we are back to having a great day again. As you can see, these shadows are absolutely beautiful. And then I'm gonna generously put it underneath. And when I say generously, I might slightly look like an alien, but it's the look, you know, we love to be Santa's little helper. And I'm not going all the way to my inner corner because I'm gonna be putting a shimmery white because I am drama. And I'm gonna take a blending brush and just blend this to make it flow under there. And then I'm also going to blend this at the top as well with that Nana color together like that so you don't see the orangey as much anymore just very slightly it's kind of like a guideline for me and it does work for the look it's not like pointless to add it i feel <laughs> i'm gonna use kessie the one i put my nail in beautiful color and i am just gonna further blend with a nice big fluffy brush just so that the tops of my lids don't feel left out with shadow. With the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia palette, I'm using this white one right here and it's called Forever Lit. So it's a highlight, but I am wanting it in the inner corner right here for a major inner corner Shazam. Now if this is just too dramatic for you, I mean, you can go inspired off of this. Um, you know, you don't have to do exactly like this. I'm gonna slightly blend it into the green, both up and down. And I'm gonna take it even further. Because it's Christmas, okay. I look like an ornament. Now I'm using the Stila Magnificent Metals in Gold Goddess. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this with a separate brush. And I'm gonna focus it like literally in the middle. That's all I did for that look before. So just like that, just like the tiniest bit in the middle, it gives it a very nice sparkle. And I'm gonna do all the same. On the other side, I love these Stila eyeshadows. Just a little bit underneath, just to match it up a little bit, like that. I know I'm a drama queen. <laughs> and now I'm adding a little bit of the Maybelline Mega Plush mascara just on the bottoms and I'm not doing any on the top lashes because I do have eyelash extensions for that little drama-ness. Now with the Benefit Chicas on I'm gonna take I honestly think I'm gonna mix Dandelion and Coralista together because I kind of want orangey but I kind of want pink so I'm just gonna do them both. <laughs> and apply. Kept on D Shade and Light palette. I just contoured a little bit and now I'm just going to dust along my hairline. For lips, I'm gonna use Creme de Nude by MAC. I was gonna use a bright red, cause hi Christmas. I don't think it would look good with the eyes, cause they're already high on the drama fest already. So just a nice nude lip, and then I'm gonna use the Mariah Carey Gloss by MAC also over top. It's like this golden-y nude color, it's beautiful. Okay guys, so that was the makeup tutorial and my holiday look for this year. It's very dramatic. If you don't wanna add the sparkle, if you don't wanna add the shimmer in the inner corner, if you don't wanna add as much green, totally up to you. You can tweak it and turn it to whatever you want, but I love this look and it was requested. So I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Happy whatever you celebrate, as long as you're happy and smiling. I am happy and smiling and I love you guys all. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Remember to stay you and not lose your dinosaur. I love you.